Welcome to this video. Today we are testing the free version of Avast antivirus. And I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware. 450 samples in total and we're going to use these samples to see how well Avast free antivirus does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific kinds of threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable all of the real-time protection here in Avast. We'll let it sit for just a few minutes to see if it can detect anything on its own, after which we will run a system scan. If there's samples remaining, we will scan the samples folder directly. If there's still samples remaining, we will execute them and see if the real-time protection can stop them. Before anything, let's just double check to make sure that we are up to date and we are good to go. Let's go ahead and enable everything and we will let this sit for just a few minutes. All right, it's been a few minutes. I haven't seen anything pop up. Let's double check our samples folder. We're still at 450. So at this point, let's go ahead and run a system scan. And we're going to do a full scan and we will let this run until it's fully completed. All right, the scan has completed and it found 541 threats. And we're going to go ahead and resolve all of them. We're going to go ahead and click on done. And then real quick before we scan the samples folder, we're actually going to do a quick restart. After a computer restart, we're still showing 74 samples in the samples folder, so we're going to go ahead and scan it directly. And that came back with positive detections, so we're going to go ahead and select all and resolve all. We'll go ahead and click on done, and it looks like we're left with 17. Just to be sure, we're going to try that just one more time. And no malware was found, so we will go ahead and execute. Execution has completed and we've ended up with some more samples just because one of them installed in the samples folder. And so at this point, we're going to go ahead and restart the computer and run a second opinion scan. After restart, ran a scan with Malwarebytes, which came back with 15 detections. So we'll go ahead and quarantine these. After another computer restart, I did go to the samples folder and just delete the DLL files that were created from one of the samples that were executed and that left us with 21 samples remaining. And I did pick a few of these samples, just some random ones, and put them through virus totals. Some of these do have high detections and were missed. Some of these have lower detections and some of these are actually coming back clean. So that could either mean that some of these samples are not good samples or it's also possible that these are just not being detected by any solution out there. But I did want to mention that just for transparency and fairness on this test. And if you would like to see how Avast does versus the free version of Bitdefender in this exact same test with these exact same samples, I will post a link down in the notes down in the video description to that video. It will be a members only video. So hit the join button and become a gold member today to view that video. I'll also have a video of uncut footage of this test today with very limited edits for privacy. You can take these results and draw your own conclusions, but that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the thanks button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.